Hello everyone, I'm making this video because I noticed a lot of people recently found out that the Nexus 7, the 2013 version, has wireless charging. You have to get a QI charger if you want to use wireless charging with your Nexus 7. It has a simple um, USB, micro USB port right here. So I just plug in uh, my power cable. So here's a tip. I noticed that if you aim the center of your pad on the X, that that will help you get a good connection. And you'll hear a little noise as well. And you'll also see this red light turn blue. You heard that? So there you have it. The little icon is showing that it is charging. So you can leave it face down, whatever you want, because sometimes if you have it like this and you, you're trying to aim, it's a, it can be a little tedious doing that. So I just flip it around, put it right on the X. There it goes, charging. Other thing I wanted to mention is, let's take a look inside to see what exactly uh, is helping, or maybe I should probably turn this off before I open it. <laughs> I don't want to short anything out. Use a plastic card or something that's not metal to help you pry it open. So here we have a look inside. This is our battery on the inside. This is the, the cover, the back cover. And on the on the back cover, the wireless charging seems to be right here. It looks kind of like a plus. And it's actually connected to this uh, cable here. And you see these two contact points are like gold contact points. Well, this connects to these two gold contact points on the tablet and then it feeds into the battery and that's how you charge it wirelessly. The reason why I have done wireless charging is because the USB port at the bottom of this tablet gets damaged over time with a lot of use. So as it gets worn out it won't charge it anymore. So the downside is that you're going to have to have this charging like overnight because uh, it takes it takes much longer to charge using this compared to the wall charger. So obviously the USB is the fastest way to charge this tablet, 